uh, well, the master plan, which I'm not really which quite sure why. Is it? That you... is, um, the master plan is Article 11. Okay. That was a uh, split vote on the budget committee, and I know that Jason's here. I'm not sure if he wants to come up. He had yeah. a... We did ask him if he could come just to... Yeah, yeah pretty detailed discussion with the budget committee on that. Yeah, I thought so. And yeah. I thought maybe if you could just clarify what happened at our um, level so that people at home could see. Yeah. Right, so they had um, asked several questions at their December 26th meeting, to which I looked at that meeting and did respond to their questions. Um, one of the comments um, that I got out of that meeting was they were concerned if we go through this process of a master plan, phase one and phase two, once we have this plan, you know, is it going to sit there? Is it going to be utilized? And one thing that I talked about extensively was the possibility of doing something like an implementation committee at that point in time. Um, we want to assure the public with this um, with this article that once we get through this process and have a, an adopted master plan, a new master plan, that it is not going to sit on a shelf. It is going to be an active document. It's going to be a fraction of the size of the current document, which I brought to the table at that yep. meeting. Mm -hmm. um, which is basically unusable because all it is is a plan from 1985 that has been updated here and there over yeah. time so it's grown exponentially and not in a user-friendly format. Um, if you look at in the, working with the planning board on this looking at some neighboring communities and the things that they've done like mm -hmm. Exeter for example their master plan that I believe was adopted last year is under 200 pages wow. but it has a great implementation schedule it's very concise and to the point it covers all the topics required by law and the statute um, so it, it's a great example um, there's other communities doing that too but it is something in the RSA's that the planning board is responsible to prepare and amend from time to time the master plan yeah. that's been neglected for many years mm -hmm. and I think that it will I know that it'll help us and the planning board with the work we do, we see many large applications come to the planning board. It'd be good to have a guidance document with teeth that we can use to help amend our zoning ordinance, amend our site plan and subdivision regulations, and do other planning for the community. So it's something that the planning board supports extensively. Um, I, in my nearly 20 years working in planning, I know from other communities that it's critical. It's the Bible, basically, of planning. I guess for lack of a better way to describe it. So it's it's extremely important, and I hope the voters will support it. Thank you for the explanation. Move. Yes. Um, in your capacity as town planner, mm -hmm. will you will you take the opportunity once the um, master plan is complete, the new cleaned up version, mm -hmm. will you perhaps put on your calendar for once a year to sit down with? whatever planning board is is uh, available and kind of folk have them focus on the master plan well I think it'd be more frequent with, than that I mean we're, we're talking about when you're talking about an implementation committee mm -hmm. just as an example you're talking about a subcommittee of the planning board mm -hmm. which you know maybe you know once a month or quarterly or whatever they choose to do and they'll be working on the recommendations okay. of that plan they'll be working on the things that have come from the public process of the both phases of the project good so it would be a living document that's the easiest way to describe okay. it so it'd be more than an annual thing it'd be an ongoing thing so instead of a mishmash mm -hmm. right. uh, 12 inches high right you're going to streamline mm -hmm. and get the relevant uh, that we just um, material together yep yeah. Okay. I just have one thing I'd like and to add. Well, uh, on this. Yeah, on the okay. plane. Um, yeah, I have more articles. Yeah, I know. I that's what I meant. Okay. Um, but I just wanted to say that I think this is very important. I've known, I've talked to you since I've been at Selectman yep. a couple of times, and I know you've at sometimes even been frustrated not having certain parts of the mm -hmm. plan that you can yeah. go and look at and yeah. figure out whether it should be done, whether it shouldn't be done. And I'm also going to tell the public at home that I'm 100% for this and not having this implemented as we should right now is the reason why I'm saying no to a lot of other articles that we have on the warrant this year. Because without having that plan, yeah. it's like, what you know? What are the ordinances? What is the zoning? Do they have to be changed? I know uh, a couple yeah. weeks ago, you had a presentation from Tom McGurk at your planning board meeting. Yes. Now Tommy's actually on the zoning board meeting too. Mm -hmm. And he said a lot of things that I think made a lot of sense. And I yeah. think that's something that the plan 
having an updated one, not from 1985, right, is going to help right. the town a lot, and I think it's hindered the town a lot in my view. So yeah, I think it'll I, help to alleviate a lot of the concerns that are out there right now. Mm -hmm. Right. So I yeah, hope the uh, public sees yep. it that way. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming. Jim, in. you have anything on this one? Not on this one. Right. So is this um, for the town master plan or the beach master plan? This is plan? the town master plan. Now the so beach master different. plan, yeah, yes. the beach master plan is considered the neighborhood plan of the overall town master mm -hmm. plan. So it's something of course this newer document would incorporate by reference as the current document does now, but the beach master plan, H B A C and so forth would continue to do the updates as they mm -hmm. do them. Mm. Yeah, because um, I know that um, originally uh, that this 1985 um, master plan was really never even finished, I don't think, because um, I was on the, t um, the town, not the beach one. I had wanted to be on the beach one, but I ended up on the town one, and, uh, all of, and we had a grant, and all of a sudden the grant money ran out, and there was not even another meeting, and it was never finished. So it needs a more of a professional slant to it. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think that we're still in favor of it the way we were. Our last vote was 5-0, and I think we'll continue yeah. with that. Yeah. I would hope the Budget Committee will reconsider. Right. And we thank Jason for all his work. Absolutely. He's really been working on it. Okay. Okay. So I'll say one thing. I just said 1985. It was later than that. Oh. I was on it. Oh, okay. I want to throw that out. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right.